In 2007, it was announced three rail lines in South Australia would be electrified. It is now 2021. Only one of these lines has been electrified, and the goal line, which this video will be about, is currently undergoing electrification, unless we talk about the Outer Harbour line. This video will be about GREP, the Gola Rail Electrification Project, and the more than decade long saga to finally see an electric train run to Gola Central. Back in 2006, Adelaide's rail system was in a state of disrepair. Trains derailed, they ran consistently late, management was apathetic to the problems, and the system was poorly run. This may sound foreign to a lot of us that use the rail network today. And this was thanks to Rail Revival, a $2 billion scheme announced by the South Australian government in the late 2000s to rebuild every kilometre of rail lines in Adelaide's rail system. But this video is about GREP. Originally, it was going to be completed at the same time as the Seaford line. But that was seven years ago. So something did have to happen for it to be that delayed. And that thing was Tony Abbott. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Tony Abbott's government withdrew funding for Adelaide's urban rail project and directed the funding more into highways. This delayed the program significantly as the South Australian government was unable to make up for the budget shortfall and deferred the project until further notice. In 2015, it was announced the project would go ahead in 2018, but only to Salisbury due to a lack of funding. In 2018, the contracts were signed and work began to progress to Salisbury, but thanks to a $220 million grant from the federal government, work was permitted to go all the way up to Gola Central. However, this was not the end of the cost overruns. In late 2020, it was announced the project had ballooned from $615 million to $715 million. This was a major blowout and would make the Gola Rail electrification project one of the most expensive electrification works per kilometre in Australia's history. The Gola line itself is one of the major public transport arteries to Adelaide's north. It is the main point of connection between Adelaide, Mawson Lakes, Salisbury, Elizabeth and Gola. This provides service and access to many jobs, residents and shopping and leisure facilities along the line and all the way up into Adelaide's north. As the line is 42 kilometres long, it is almost half the length of the entirety of metropolitan Adelaide making the line a very significant part of Adelaide's commuter belt. The Gola line is Adelaide's most used rail line. Currently the line sees over 14,000 people use it in a day and already is facing serious capacity problems in the inner sections. After Mawson Lakes, the trains become very crowded and cause problems for increasing capacity on the line. Part of GREP is to increase frequency and the speed of the service along the lines so during peak hours more trains and longer trains can run along the line boosting capacity and allowing for more comfortable journeys as well as more space on the trains for future development. Adelaide's North is predicted to see massive residential development over the next 50 years. Places like Playford and Gola are experiencing massive suburban growth and many of these commuters choose to take the train because it is time competitive with the car. As a result this means many more express services are needed to cover these commuters which slows down services on the all stopping lines and prevents people from catching the trains closer to inner Adelaide. In addition to electrification, a new signalling system is being implemented along the rail line. This signalling system will allow trains to run closer together and more often, enabling capacity boosts along the lines to cater for future and current growth. Of course, the electrification has also brought the need to buy new trains. 12 new 4000 class trains are being procured as part of the process. These trains are going to be almost identical to the trains already on service on the Seaford line. The trains won't all be in service when the line first opens and they will trickle in slowly as Bombardier builds them in Victoria, but they will certainly be a very welcome addition for both the peak and off-peak on the Goldler line. 
The current finish date for the project is still 2021, but this hasn't been updated since the $100 million cost blowout was announced. I personally do think the line will stay closed for the most part until 2022, although diesel services may resume before then. We will still have to see. The line looks like it's going to be shut for most of 2021, unfortunately, and it will be replaced by rail replacement buses for a lot of the year and probably going all the way into October. At the time of recording, the line is currently shut for the entirety of the length of the rail line between Adelaide and Gola. Previously, the line was only shut between Adelaide and Salisbury, with trains provided thereafter. With few exceptions, there hasn't been any need to conduct major engineering works along the rail corridor outside of the electrification works themselves. The corridor has been future-proofed for quite a while to allow for electrification, and it has been going on under many of the major road overpasses and crossings along the line. The exception of this is the King Street Bridge in Goal of Central. This bridge is being removed and replaced by a pedestrian and cyclist bridge. As part of this, this will allow future proofing for duplication of the Goal Line straight into Goal of Central and also allow electrification to actually take place where the bridge is. The bridge's life expired anyway, so it needed to be replaced eventually. So essentially, after more than a decade, the goal line will be electrified. You'll be able to take the electric train straight from Adelaide to Gola Central by at the latest 2022 sometime. The project has enormous benefits, even for its quite high cost. And that's not even talking about environmental benefits. Of course, the electric trains are better for the environment than the polluting diesel ones. But it's also better for people living along the rail corridor, it's better for the wildlife in the surrounding swamps and farmland, and of course it's better for you riding the train. It's a much quieter experience and you'll be able to enjoy your train ride a lot more and you won't have to bear through noisy diesel engines. The goal of electrification works will mark a major step in finally completing one of the major aims of rail revival only about 14 years after it was first announced and seven years after it was due to be completed. Despite this, I am not complaining that it is finally being completed because it is good, we could have had it deferred once again. Thanks for watching the video and sticking around all the way to the end. If you've watched this far, you'll probably enjoy some of my other videos that I've made, such as the Adelaide Railway Station Renewal Explained video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out and I'm planning on making a lot more Adelaide focused rail and transit content. Very good. There you go.